Okay, th in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the quadratic formula to solve different quadratic equations. Remember a quadratic equation is an equation where the highest power of x is x squared and the formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now when you come to solve these equations, if, the, if you are told to use a quadratic formula and you aren't given the formula, your first step is to write the formula down as I have. So let's use it to solve an equation x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. It's a nice equation this one because everything's a positive. The first thing to do, and it really does help, is to write down specifically the value of a, which is the coefficient of x squared, the value of b, which is the coefficient of x, and the value of c, which is the constant. Remember, coefficient is the number in front of the term. So my value of a is the number in front of x squared, which is just 1. My value of b is the number in front of x, which is 4 and my value of c is 2. Having written them all down, I'm now going to plug them into the formula. So x is minus b, which is 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared, which is 16, 16 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2, all divided by 2 times a and the value of a is 1. Now if you're going to plug all these into your calculator in one go be very very careful. It's much much better to work the value of the number underneath the square root before you do it. So work out that value first. So this value 16 minus 8 is 8. So x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Sometimes the question says leave the square root in the answer. Sometimes it says giving your answer to two decimal places. And we're going to do this one to two decimal places. So we need to work out the square root of 8. So x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 and the square root of 8 is 2.828 all divided by 2. Now we're going to get two answers. It's a quadratic equation, x squared term, so you would expect two answers. One answer we get from minus 4 plus 2.828 over 2 and the other answer is minus 4 minus 2.828 over 2. So working these two answers out separately, minus 4 plus 2.828 divided by 2 gives me minus 0.586 and minus 4 minus 2.828 over 2 gives me minus 3.414. Rounding these off to two decimal places, I have x is minus 0.59 or x equals minus 3.41. And those are your two answers. Okay, let's have a look at another quadratic equation, this time with some minus signs. So x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0. Again, write the quadratic formula down first. So x is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Write down the values of a, b and c. So the number in front of x squared is 1, so a equals 1. The number in front of x is minus 5, so make sure you include the minus and the constant term is minus 3. 
Right, having got the values of A, B and C, I'm now going to plug them into the formula. So, X is equal to minus B, so it's minus minus 5, plus or minus the square root of B squared, minus 5 squared, minus 4, times 1, times C, which is minus 3. And I've put the negative numbers in brackets to emphasise that we have work to do with the minus signs. All divided by 2 times A, which is 2 times 1. Now I'm going to put another line in to show you what happens with the minus signs. So X is equal to minus minus 5 gives you a positive 5. Plus or minus the square root of minus 5 all squared would be minus 5 times minus 5, which is positive 25. And then the last term is minus 4 times 1 times minus 3, which will be plus 12, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Work out the bit under the square root sign. So it's 37, so we need the square root of 37. So it's 5 plus or minus the square root of 37 all over 2, which is 5 plus or minus 6.0827 all over 2, which gives us two separate answers. So x is equal to 5 plus 6.0827 all over 2, or x is equal to 5 minus 6.0827, all over 2. So working out the two answers separately, the first one gives me 5.5418, and the second one gives me minus 0.5. 4, 1, etc. So rounding these off to two decimal places, x is 5.54 or x is equal to minus 0.54. And there we have our two answers again. Okay, for the third example, I will do one where the coefficient of x squared is not zero. So suppose you want to solve 2x squared minus 7x plus 4 equals 0. Again, write down the quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Write down the values of a, b and c. a is the number in front of x squared, so it's 2. b is the number in front of x, so it's minus 7. And c is the constant, which is 4. Plug the values into the formula. X is minus B, so it's minus minus 7, plus or minus the square root of minus 7 all squared minus 4 times A, which is 2, times C, which is 4, all over 2 times A, which is 2 times 2. As before, simplify the negative signs and the thing in the square root sign. So dealing with the negative sign first of all, minus minus 7 is ordinary 7, plus or minus the square root of minus 7 all squared is 49, minus 4 times 2 times 4 is 32, all over 2 times 2 which is 4. So it's 7 plus or minus the square root of 17 all divided by 4. As before, you have to work out the square root of 17 and plug that in. So we have x is 7 plus 4.123 all over 4, or x is 7 minus 4.123 all over 4. Working these out gives us the two answers. So the first one, 7 plus 4.123 all over 4, 
gives me x is 2.781 and 7 minus 4.123 all over 4 gives me x is 0.719. Rounding both these off to two decimal places again, x is 2.78 or x is 0.72. And there you have your two answers again.